We don't take any chances on this channel. Safety first, protect yourself and wash your hands. And we're ready to go. Ah, coronavirus. Um, it, mm, it's not ideal, is it? I think that's a, that's a light way of putting it. Um, the Premier League has said, uh, hello everyone by the way, morning fellas. The Premier League have said 4th of April, football should be back. La -di -da, it's all going to go by then, but we all know that there's just no chance of that happening. There is no way that football's going to be back by the 4th of April. When's that? Three weeks? Two weeks? No chance. Um, you saw in China, is, is it only just getting better now? Like, don't... I don't know the ins and outs of coronavirus, but I, th I believe from what I've heard, you know, I think it's just getting better in China. So, God knows. And they've taken precautions, like Boris Johnson yesterday. I don't want to get all political about it, but I, sh I don't. I... <laughs> anyway, on to the football. The last Villa result I saw before this whole coronavirus thing was a 4-0 defeat. You'd have it no other way with Villa. Um, the last actual game, I went to a non-league game on Saturday. A lot of you, well, a few of you saw me there. Um, Telford versus Kettering, so what a way to end it. Cheers, boys. But, as there's going to be no vlogs, I need all the help I can get. So, download one football top link in the description. Obviously, there's not a fat lot of football news, but they still have loads of updates on the whole coronavirus thing. Um, what different leagues are saying all over the world, um, when they're going to be back. Is it going to be the 4th of April? Probably not. One football will let you know. Top link in the description. Download it. It's free on everything. Download one football. Cheers. Also, quick shout out to Luke. Um, use the code MAX20 for 20% off. Obviously, not a lot of ad revenue. I'm going to be totally honest, lads. He's going to come in because there's no match day vlog. So if you do want to use MAX20, that helped me out a lot. Cheers. I don't know if I've said this on the channel before. I get a lot of people asking me this. What do you actually do as a job? Um, a lot of people probably don't know. I'm 18. People probably think I'm older. I don't know why. Um, but... I finished my A-levels last year and I've taken a gap year to focus on Villa on tour and Max on tour and things like that. Um, so I don't actually have a job, job at the moment. This, this is a gap year. Uh, I keep on doing that. So I don't know what's going to happen with that because I've taken this year off to fully focus on Villa on tour and when there's no football and no Villa, I don't know what to do. Obviously I have the Max on tour where I go to different games. If you haven't already checked out Max on tour, please go and do that. Um, lots of neutral games over there. I'll go to Rangers, non-league games, um, League 1, League 2, trying to tick off the 92. And... I can't do that anymore, um, so what's going to happen with it on tour, I don't know, I'm making this video now, will this be the last video in a while, I don't know, I'll come on to what I think I should do later on in the video, um, but yeah, not great. Of course, as there's no football, times are tough, and it's a little bit depressing, and you know, I'll put the Premier League music onto my playlist, this is the one. So yeah, times are that tough that I, I'm genuinely, genuinely just listening to that, because it just... Oh, it's so sad, but it just reminds me of the good times of watching Villa get spanked every week, but... Also, if you're feeling at a loose end and you've got no work, or if you're working from home, feel free to go and watch a load of VOT videos. <laughs> go and watch the 10 game run, go and watch all the videos from that, go and watch the Everton game from this season, the Brighton game, the Watford game. Go and watch them just to cheer yourself up a bit because I'll probably be doing that. I'm going to be totally honest. I mean, I was even playing Connect Four with a lad on Twitter yesterday. Times were that tough. But in all seriousness, it's not just the football that's kind of sad that it's gone. It's, it's the other stuff. It's meeting your mates at the boozer before the game and just having a good old social chat and having a drink and things like that because we're not even really allowed to go to pubs anymore. And that's what Boris said yesterday, like avoid going to pubs. And it's probably fair enough when there's a load of crowded people there. But it's bad enough with no football, but you can't even go to the pub with your mates. Like, quarantine. Anyway, enough of that. What do I actually think they should do? Now, this is what I think they should do. I know there's a lot of other suggestions out there, and feel free to leave what you think they should do um, in the comments. But for me, without a doubt, I think they should move Euro 2020 to 2021. Well, um, obviously, with all the travel, it's not even in one country, this Euros. It's all over the place. I think it's like 12 countries or 12 cities or something like that. And with fans going here and there, it's obviously not going to happen. And coronavirus isn't gonna go between now and whenever it is June July um, so move that obviously postpone the Premier League it's not gonna come back at the start of April let's be honest um, I think that they should push it back and play it in the summer um, there's a lot of things saying oh the Premier League's got to be played from August to May it has to be that way and mm, nah I think we've got no choice but to, to move it I think it's totally ridiculous as much as I'd like this season to be void because Villa would probably stay up I don't think that's fair on a lot of teams, you know, the, the likes of Liverpool who are 25 points clear, as much as I don't like them. 
they should win the league, and we all know they will win the league. It's just, mathematically, it's not 100% possible, so you can't just give them the title now. You can't do that. Even though we do know that Liverpool are going to win the league, you literally just can't just give it to them because it's not mathematically possible. Um, again, the likes of West Brom, Leeds, you can't just say, right, lads, you're top two, so go up, because it's unfair on the likes of Fulham, Brentford, Forest, Preston, Bristol City, teams like that, because... Albion could lose their next three games and Fulham could get top two, but you can't just promote Albion off the back of them being second. You can't do that. Um, a lot of people are also saying make a 22-team league where you keep Villa, Bournemouth, Norwich, the bottom three in the Premier League and just send Albion and Leeds up. But like I said, that's not fair on the teams in the playoffs in the Championship. As much as I'd like to see Albion and Leeds in the Premier League with us, I just don't think that's feasible. And if you do have a 22-team league, it just cocks up relegations and promotions all the way down the pyramid. There's eight or nine games left for the majority of teams in the EFL and the Premier League. And if you get rid of Euro 2020, you've got the rest of May, June, July, August to play eight or nine games. Here's a suggestion. If you play all the games in the summer, you start the season again in, say, September, and obviously that's a tiny bit later than it usually would. Again, finish it in May like normal, the season after. But... Scrap the cup competition, scrap the FA Cup, scrap the Carabao Cup just for one season, just so you can play more Premier League games, um, just so you can finish it on time, and then hopefully the season after it will all have been sorted. I don't know. But like I said, what I'd do, I'd have to finish the season in the summer and then just start it again like that because the players are having a mini sort of pre season now, so they wouldn't need, you know, a normal one. But then again, the problem is. Players' contracts, I think they run, is it like the start of July to start of July over a 12 month period? How's that going to work if the season's going on within that time? I don't know. That's something I have to look at. If you look at the likes of Vertonghen and Matic, I think there's lots of other players like that whose, play, whose contracts sorry, are running out in June, July. What, what's going to happen there if the season's you know, carrying on? They're going to have to look at that because pff, I, I don't know what they could do. A few people like Karen Brady were saying just void the season and I wonder why she was saying that because she's at West Ham and she just doesn't want them to go down but like I said earlier it's not fair on a lot of teams um, all the hard work Sheffield United teams that are going for Europe Wolves, Chelsea Tottenham, Man United things like that I just don't think it's fair however if we do get relegated at least it'll be in the sun um, in the summer in July so that'll be fun I think whatever they decide to do someone's probably going to get let down because they simply just can't you know, accommodate everyone, someone, somewhere is going to get get let down in whatever they choose to do. Um, so like I said, leave your thoughts on what they should do in the comments. What do you think? Should they postpone it? Should they void it? Let me know. In terms of what I'm going to do with the channels, um, obviously Max on tour was uh, a neutral thing. Uh, you know, I could have done non-league because non-league was still going on, but they've even cancelled that now. So there's literally no football, no grassroots, no Premier League, no a AFL, no nothing. So uh, there's literally going to be no football vlogs because I've got no choice, let's be honest. But in terms of Villa on tour, please do let me know in the comments what you want me to do. Um, a few people are saying do football videos with the boys. Of course, I want to do that. In real life football, yes, we're all crap at football, but people somehow and some reason enjoy watching it. Quizzes, I don't know. Let me know. Do you want me to make a quiz, a Villa quiz, a football quiz with the boys? It's just a suggestion so let me know but that's pretty much the end of this video I know it's not a long one it's just a basic an update I haven't done a sit down video and watch feels like ages um, I just thought I'd talk about what I think they should do with coronavirus and what the Premier League should do and what football should do and how we're going to cope and things like that and what do you want to see on the channel like I said let me know because I don't know what to do to be honest I need to do a bit of brainstorming um, because I don't really know what to do at the moment but oh, hmm. But, fellas, without further ado, please do leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, but, most importantly, wash your bloody hands, and hopefully I shall see you at some point in the next one. Cheers.